Hey traders, Control the Trade here. Today is April 15th, 2021 and want to take a quick look at plug while the market's open. Looks like there's a lot of action in this really strong downtrend since spiking all the way up to 75.49 on what I would assume is a major short squeeze. And now we're, we're creeping and crawling down into the 200 period moving average, which is interesting because normally you'd expect a nice bounce here and you're just not getting that. So to me, it still has more work to the downside. So I figured I would take a quick look at this chart, see if we can find any more important numbers. You can see 3702 was an important number I had on the board. So the weekly chart really gives us a, a great view of what's going on with this stock. And you can see we're coming into the 50 week moving average, 2470. And I believe on the daily, you have some gaps around 25, 26. Let's take a look at that. That's important. So we can find a convergence of these things. Then we can find a high probability area to trade against or take a trade, I should say. The low here is 24.92 on this nice breakup candle here. This is looks like really the start of the major breakout for this stock. So you, a lot of stocks still go ahead and the way I learned this, I like to revisit former breakout and breakdown areas, and this is a breakout area. So this would be somewhere we would find support. We also have this little gap up right here. The close is 28.4. Oh, we already have breached that. Okay, so we have a gap here, 25.70, open. 27.39 and the low is 26.86. So we have a good zone here that we could trade against. I would probably say somewhere around 26, 25 is where I would start to get interested in maybe a day trade or a swing trade because you might get a nice bounce. There's a lot of hype around this stock and I'm sure there's a high short float, which I will take a look at right now and see if there is. We're heading over to Finviz and you can see we have a nice view of plug on this chart. Just had an alert go off there. And there's a 10% short float. Not that high, not as high as I expect, but so not a huge opportunity for a um, short squeeze just based on that alone. Let's take one more look at, we'll take a look at the monthly chart and we can wrap this video up. Now, the other thing about this, there's not that much activity. I mean, look at this crazy stock here. It was just nothing, 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 and then it exploded. So let me just get a closer view here. Sorry, this chart's a little ugly. The low of this candle here is 22.25. So you definitely don't want to close below that low on a monthly close. The high here is 28.70. So you can see kind of some of the levels here where, where the low of this candle actually is important, 30, 40. If April, if we end the month of April below this candle, technically speaking, we're headed into some bearish territory and we could fall even further. But I like to take a look at the weekly right now. That's pretty relevant considering that we are closing up the week here tomorrow. And again, we look to this huge breakup candle high here, and this is a Area again, 3040 on this week's chart here, where we had the breakout. So you don't want to close below that 3040. That's definitely going to be bearish. But you do have the 50 week moving average as support. And we have the 200 day moving average, which we're resting on right now. So keep those numbers in mind. Don't be surprised if we breach 27, 26, somewhere in that area, and find support at, you know, 25 and change. And maybe we'll get a nice bounce back up to the 20 period moving average. And after that, 37 or approximately 37, 38 is going to be an area that we're likely to find resistance. So just keep that in mind as well. Thanks for watching. And remember, don't let the trade control you.